Well, hello everyone. It turns out that this week has been pretty productive actually, so what I've got here is my homemade graphics controller based on an Altera FPGA being controlled by my STM32 F0 Discovery and it is currently displaying a video on my LCD. It's currently on a loop, so uh, it's just coming back to the beginning again. And what's actually happening is the FPGA handles all of the graphics stuff, so the timings for the VGA. Uh, it has the graphics buffer inside of it and the STM32 is actually reading the video data off this SD card just here and uh, streaming it to the graphics controller through an SPI protocol. So if you just look at the original video on my laptop just here. Obviously I've not got the sound part working yet. But this is just a quick video that I got off YouTube. And if you look on the screen, you can actually see <laughs> the resolution is nowhere near as good, so you can actually see each pixel block. And the reason for this is uh, the actual FPGA has the memory inside. It does have an SD RAM chip just here, but I'm not interfacing that. Uh, so it's got a dual port SRAM inside, which is allowing me to both read and write data at the same time. But unfortunately, it doesn't actually have enough space to, uh, to have a full screen buffer. So this screen it's currently running in 800 by 600 mode but it's only displaying 100 by 75 pixels so it doesn't actually have the full resolution that it's used to and uh, that's pretty much just for memory storage conditions but I'm gonna carry on improving this and hopefully get some cool things so keep tuned